you lived in a world where you didn't believe demons were real. Yet at the same time, you couldn't explain on the natural plane what was happening to you and why these bad things kept occurring in your life. The fact of the matter was, the drugs, the alcohol, the victim predator mentality, you used your victimhood to describe yourself as being a, vic uh, a victim to get attention and supply from people, that's being a predator. You use that as a gateway to get into people's lives and try and build intimate relationships only to reveal that your life was no different to, really no different psychologically and characteristically to a functioning addict or alcoholic. Really, that's all that you were. And you hid that under the guise of your employment, your job. And this didn't really help anybody in your family or yourself. You complained about family members and justified this by all sorts of delusional reasoning. You needed your family and you turned against them. They needed you and you let them down. People come across your path that brought light and tried to tell you that there's a better way. You knew about the gospel. You'd heard of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, there was pedigree in your family that were Christian. You refused to work in with these people who were by, by nature uh, Christian. There was a long line of faith, Christian faith, in your family background. You chose a mystic. This way, please. Quick, up, up, up. You chose a mystic source of spirituality that failed you <coughs> over and over again. You led the people that you brought into the world down this same mystic, uh, corrupted path. They ended up with mental issues and all other things. And you knew in the back of your mind you were part of the reason for it. This led you to have a terrible conscience, shame and guilt, which drove you further into your addictions and habits. It's easy to put on a happy face and smile and try and wing your way through but when people get close enough to see how bad the situation is how horrible and desolate and wicked the situation is well things become different the people begin to abandon you they begin to forsake you by way of the choices that you've made for yourself in life. You've made wrong choices and you've held them, you've fought for them. This way, please. You've upheld them. You were never gonna be happy unless you had your way, your self-destructive way. You're no different, as I said, to somebody living under a bridge with no money who'd ruined their life by wrong choices or by somebody that had just forsaken them and found somebody else and ruined everything they had. This is a this is a cycle without partiality. This way, please, quickly. We've got the little dog again. Come on, move. Move. Good boy. We need to understand that there's a whole world and dimension that is going to continue the cycle of destruction. And for some people, they've been able to find someone that would transaction a relationship with them where they could both live in their destructive ways. This gives them a conscious idea that yes, if this fails, I can find somebody else that will play the game because that's what it is it's a big destructive game 
and they try and teach each other to learn this way, please. Excuse me, come on. They try and learn how to navigate people in a way in which they can fulfill their habits and addictions. They're professional chameleons. They know how to disguise themselves and manage themselves in a way in which they can keep people on board with their destructive behavior and you've become one of them. This time you've met somebody that's above all that. You've decided that it might be a pathway out of this silly lifestyle that you've created for yourself and you're one of millions who are doing this and die young and wreck everyone and everything around them. You're just one of millions. You think you're different, you've got an ego and grandizement that's bigger than Ben-Hur and made Elvis Presley look like a, a failure or Michael Jackson and all these famous people that deserve to have the accolades. Your little show where you give yourself your awards and um, you're your own little audience didn't make Broadway it didn't even make um, busking. And when people got in close enough to see how ridiculous and stupid your choices in life were as an adult, 40, 50, 60 year old adult, who couldn't manage themselves to save themselves, had enmeshment all around them. Um, people that were adults that were sulking and whinging about uh, you not looking after them and all this sort of nonsense and rubbish and infantility that was manipulative and controlling they abandon you they don't want to be around you you try and go for help and counseling you find people that are just going to go with your story they're not really any help they're getting their money just tap the card I'll say what you want to say, I'm a puppet with credentials and you've lost opportunities in life that could have helped you and your spawn, your demonic spawn, your evil spawn, the way in which you formed them and domesticated them and showed them how not to live but encouraged them to live in that way. So you had to stick together because you and your spawn were the only ones that could accept the horrible, wicked, demonic way in which you were living. You took advantage of people that were handicapped. They trusted you. There were several occasions where even they were not comfortable with how you lived. This way, please. Quick. Quick. And over and over again, you, you were stubborn. The Bible calls that witchcraft, where people are, they idolize their own thinking to such an extent that they just can't seem to understand uh, how self-awareness works and how you can improve yourself. They remain stubborn in a lifestyle and choice life, choices for life and habits and ways of life that fail. That's what witches do. They grandize themselves in their self-destruction and they pass that on and share it with people that um, are under their authority and parenting. Every opportunity you had to find your way out, you didn't accept. And Christians had come across your path and said to you, there is a way out of this. They loved you, they treated you kindly. They blessed you, they shared intimacy with you, but you held on to your dark, evil ways. And now you're complaining that you're on your own, you feel like you've been let down, this is how you self-justify. Really, you're only self-crucifying, you're giving yourself to the devil. And he, as we all know, leads you up to the cliff, pushes you off, and then says it was your fault. And you've ended up being one of these 
slothful, horrible people that sit outside the hospital with a drip, trying to get better, smoking and making a fool, an idiot of yourself, and you, you stay in your darkness and you got the results of your choices.